Please move forward to the next order. Yes, can I get a... Uh, two uh, hot and spices? Okay. And can I get two of the the McDoubles but with green chili? So two green chili doubles? Yeah, and a medium fry. My name is Bob Ray Nelson Torres. I grew up in Taos, New Mexico, back and forth from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm a Norteño from Taos. It's uh, Barrio Cruz Alta. My G name is Juanir, and just living that Norteño life. Straight up. <laughs> I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're walking me, I have my hands in my thing like that, I'm all soaking wet. And out of nowhere, the seal, the seal on the bubble shoots me with the 12 gauge beanbag in my tube. Like, I just came off the little stairs. I didn't even hit the middle yet. Shot me, boom, and I, like, I stumbled. I said, what the fuck? Shot me again, boom. Like, I'm fucking getting down. And when I'm going down, they dropped the concussion grenade. <laughs> baseball bats and a hammer in the head. They tried killing me. My dad used to make us fight with them fools. They want to jump? Let's go fight one-on-one. -on -one. Let's take you. We'll take you and you fight with each one of them fuckers. They jumped me. My dad was taking me so I could fuck them up too. What Duke City uh, represents to me is, is a family. Albuquerque is the center of the state. Los Ranchos and Los Turanes. Uh, all my cousins are from Los Turanes, so they're Norteños too, and from Martinez Town and that. Those are the older barrios from Burke that are Norteños. I want to tell the kids in, in Burke, Albuquerque, whatever you guys want to call it on the streets, younger generation, Burke, Burke, and all I got to say is do you be a man or a woman because this lifestyle, in and out of prison, is not worth it. The only person you're hurting is yourself. Hey, my mom works for this gallery, this rich ass dude, a multi-millionaire, had the best clothes whatever, but I thought those clothes were corny. Why? Because they weren't like what the other homies were wearing. Yeah, that was cool to a point, but I wanted to be a gangster. I wanted to do my own thing. Me and my mom really don't have that connection because when I came to prison, she ran away. She was a bad alcoholic because of what we put her through. And I'm glad that she's in Montana. I'm glad that she got a new husband. She's sober. She ran from this. I've been to every prison in the state. I've been to Sil I got released from Las Cruces. I've been to Hobbs, Clayton, Santa Rosa, Grant, Santa Fe, Las Lunas. I started off in Hobbs. I first started doing time, uh, got my detainer job, went to a Santa Fe Merv. I've been on your toes 24-7 in that place, because you never know, somebody wakes up on the wrong side of bed, 
and you look at them wrong or something, you're the next victim in sight. No matter what, you gotta be on your toes. Can't be walking around in your shower shoes or with no shoes on. I go to bed with my shoes right at my bed. It's a place where you're never comfortable. You always sleep with one eye open because you never know what's gonna happen. The guards come in, sh shake you down out of nowhere, take all your shit. On your wheel, it's a white handkerchief. It's a piece of cloth that is sewed like a sheet. They call him Droopy. He's from Taos. He did this one for me, representing my Santa Muerte with the, with the money and with the portrait of me. That's what I believe in. Now that I'm getting older and stuff, like I have love for my hood. I'll always have love for my hood, but it's just time to grow up and have a family and shit right now. But it is what it is. Who don't art there till the day I die? Shout out to Big Tones, Sleepy Loco. Fucking, you guys already know all y'all from Cali. OG Jaime, fucking Lost, Castro, uh, Little Vicious. Rest in peace, brothers. You'll always be with me, always 24 7, brother.